so in this video we will be discussing tracking type adc so it is same as that of counter type adc but in it has it will require less time as compared to that because it will use up down counter okay so uh, this is the up down counter 8 bit up down counter and how it will take less time will be clear so same uh, rest of the things are same okay this is same dac 8 bit dac this is the reference voltage and so rest of the things are same this is our output digital output and this is our analog input clear and this is our comparator so what happens uh, when this uh, DAC's output is less than that of analog input, it will give high logic and it will behave as up counter. Okay, but the moment at which this two become equal and after that it will, when this input that is DAC's output will go higher than this analog input, then what happens? It will behave as a down counter because this is active low signal. You can see this dot over here let me show you that this is dot over here and it is written down okay in front of it so it will behave like down counter so instead of resetting okay for uh, as is seen in that counter type dac what it will do it will uh, remain over there only and follow the input it is whatever is the input it will be follow and it will if now the input is continuously decreasing then it will be, it will behave as a down counter and depending dot on that it will generate this our reference voltage this is same as that staircase reference voltage this is staircase reference voltage so same as this and let me show you the diagram that is let's this is our analog input so what our output will output will do output will follow this that is it will follow okay so this will follow it so it will not reset okay again and again and so thus we can say that it will require very less time as compared to that counter type and so what's the disadvantage the disadvantage is that when suppose that uh, further our analog input is remaining constant for some time so what happens though it will remain constant but the output is continuously changing that is we can say it is oscillating from high to low high to low like this so it is oscillating and this is the major advantage of this uh, tracking type ADC and now let's discuss about its conversion time that is time required to convert this analog input to the digital output so it is nothing but time required to convert a single analog output time required to convert A single analog input to digital output and this TC max that is conversion time max is nothing but 2 raise to n minus 1 clock cycles that is we can say 2 raise to n minus 1 into time for one clock cycle and Taking average of it, what we will get average conversion time, we can say new terminology average conversion time is given by TC max by 2. Clear? And one important point to note that this ADC must perform at the rate equal to means the frequency or the rate equal to twice the frequency of it is same as that of Nyquist rate we can say of highest component of input 
so it is just like nyquist trait now let's move towards another type that is flash type adc so uh, what happens in flash type adc so this is first point is that it is the fastest of all fastest type okay and one more important thing is that it doesn't require clock that is conversion is happening continuously the clock is not needed The only disadvantage is that you will see in a minute that it will require large number of components. You may wonder what this this, but this all are comparators only. Okay, so these are seven comparators. The inverting terminal is non-inverting terminal is being given to analog input as always. Note that always the analog input is being given to inverting terminal only. So throughout we will give this. To this in non-inverting terminal, sorry. This non-inverting terminal is being given to analog input in every case and in this we use one some reference voltage okay and this reference voltage through resistors are being given to no in, sorry the inverting terminal so the inverting terminals of all the comparators are being given to this so the e reference is given to this inverting terminal and at last again one more and two ground that is we can say this is being given to this inverting terminal through a voltage divider circuit so this is the voltage divider circuit all are the op-amps outputs and this op -amp outputs are being given to one priority encoder this is priority encoder and these are our outputs you may note that this is just a 3 bit the output is just 3 bits and for this 3 bits only we use this 7 op amps and 8 registers in one priority encoder means we use for n bit uh, this ADC we use 2 raised to n registers 2 raised to n minus 1 comparators and 1 open and 1 priority encoder so this is the major disadvantage that it requires large number of components but this is the fastest type of ADC now uh, let's see how it works so reference voltage is being connected to this uh, inverting terminal and it will divide into seven in equal increment levels you can just see that so each level is compared to this analog input by voltage comparator so for any given analog input one comparator and all this below it will have high input this is a very important point for any given analog input one comparator and all those below it will have high input it is very much obvious because uh, as we go downwards okay so suppose this comparator uh, is giving high input then this all must give high input because all these are connected to analog input so this will obviously be less than this because over here for this we have one two three four registers voltage drop only but for this we have one two three four five six registers voltage drop. so obviously 
below it will have a uh, high output open high output and so what will happen why now the role of this priority encoder come into picture all the comparator outputs are being connected to this priority encoder which produce the digital input corresponding which produce the digital output sorry uh, corresponding to the input having the highest priority and priority in this case means that which has largest input that is which out of this which will be having the largest input will be produced at the digital output and why it is done because because uh, doing this we will get digital output uh, voltage that is closest in value to this analog input okay and it is the very first principle that the digital output must be proportional to analog input okay this is digital output this must be proportional to analog input and so this is the case now plus point is that it is very fast it doesn't require any clock clear but the only negative point is it requires more number of components so the only important point to summarize this the only important point is that for let me write this point that for any given analog input one comparator suppose let's say this one comparator and all those below it will have high output but according to priority the one which is at the top and below it all are one and that one also is one that is giving high output this will be given more priority by this priority encoder that's why it is connected so that the output which is produced is corresponding to this highest value of this analog voltage analog input voltage and which is the principle that is a basic fundamental principle of any converters either digital to analog and analog to digital so this is the only point to remember if you will get this point then you can easily understand this converter okay thank you